Hello everyone, uh, Tashi Dalek. So uh, today we are going to talk about uh, the second work pack that we have received from Diff Project Schools Project 2021. And before we begin, uh, many of us right have used uh, simple, plain ideas in the stories that we have written. So we should put our ideas there about the future okay for example like we uh, some of you have mentioned hospitals in your story some of you have showed uh, banks and social medias some of you have talked about government schools now the point is in 2041 hospitals will have changed a lot government will change uniforms will change school will change everything that is around us will change in 2041 and how might these things have changed now you have to think that because you have mentioned these things we can make changes right there's no uh let's say and uh, it's not like you just have to keep your story similar you can make changes there in your story in your first work work pack okay and you can add few things there now you have received uh, your first worksheet and if you look at there there are some remarks okay so read the remarks if that's a question try to answer it and yeah make sure you edit your work before you start the second work back work okay so the second work pack now before we get into it let me ask you this question what have you done in your first work pack so think now most of us have written a story that took place in the year 2041 then we draw the sketch of some characters and up and uh, then we uh, draw the location sketches as well as location drawings where we have to use some uh, words like interior or exterior day or night and then others so uh, the story that you have written in the first work pack now we are going to turn that story into a script so this time we are going to write a script now you're not starting with a scratch this time okay you already have a story with you you just have to read that uh, break them down break the story down into different small scenes and then we'll be able to come up with a great script so the story we have written is called treatment in the film world so if you see the word treatment in the work pack that you received we are talking about the story that you have written so now what is a treatment now everyone know the treatment means the story which is now going to change into a script so before we write script we first write treatments we first write stories of it and then we turn that story into scripts i hope you understand that now in order to turn our stories into script we need to break down the treatments into scenes so what does the word scene mean then a scene consists of actions that happens in one place at one time so if something is happening suppose uh, that your uh, overall setting is in a hospital and you are currently doing an operation there so you are in the operating room and that time you are doing something so those things will be considered as a scene now the moment you get out of your uh, operating room right or the moment you get out of the hospital the moment the place changes normally that with that time also changes we change the scene so a scene only has uh, only has normally one place okay happens in one place at one time so although there is a story given here uh, in your work pack called Raj's stay right now out of that i've just uh, 
extracted the first paragraph from that story and it says Raj lives in Chetru near Dharmshala. He was born in a village in Rajasthan. He is 14 years old. This year has been difficult because of coronavirus. He hasn't been to school since March. Normally Raj's mom and dad do labor work but now there is no work. They are worried about money and getting enough to eat. So this is all explanation, right? This paragraph is explaining us a lot of thing and we call that exposition. Now, instead of explaining it, we have to show things to the uh, actors who are going to perform on the script. So you know that we are going to turn treatment into treatment means our stories into script. And for that, we need to break the story down into scenes and what, you know what scenes mean. So here we have one scene because in this paragraph, Everything is only talking about the Raj's uh, livelihood at his home back then. Okay, so uh, here is an example of how to write a script. So you will get a four sheets paper, okay? If not, you try to uh, manage to uh, get a hold on some. Now, first of all, draw a box on your A4 sheet. Then on top, write down scene. So as I said, there will be many scenes in our script. So you should write scene number first, scene number one, right? That should come at the very first. It's mandatory, it's compulsory, scene one. Then put colon and write down whether it happened inside or outside, interior or exterior. Put a comma, what time of day is it? Morning, afternoon, evening, night, write them down. And then the last one is the exact location where the uh, scene is taking place so here it is raj's family's hut in chetru so raj family's hut means there's a small house in chetru which belongs to raj's family so the location is quite clear right now you have to write this in order do not write this in like uh, um, without any sequence okay so first thing should be your scene then your uh, interior exterior then time of the day and then exact location now after that you're not supposed to write down exact things that are written in your story, okay? Because this is a scene we have to show them. So it says Raj, his mother Mamta, father Anil, brother Vishal and sister Ansu are sitting on the floor. So it is showing that all of the family members are sitting on the floor. So it shows something, yes or no? It's not explaining us, showing something. So you also have to do it in this way. You have to show the action that take place. And as I've said, you can also change some of the ideas. You can still edit your first work pack. That means your story, you can still change the story a little bit. You can modify it. Then there is a word called SFX. Now SFX simply means sound effect. Here it shows the pressure cooker whistle. So shh, shh, right? the pressure cooker whistles when they were sitting on the floor. So sound effect, if there is any sound effects you would like to add, you can add. If not, it's fine. Then what does Mamta do? Because the pressure cooker whistles after a few minutes, Mamta serves a very small breakfast and the family eats in silence. Now you see with the word Mamta. Now Mamta is a character and she's going to have a dialogue, right? Therefore we uh, put her name in the middle and then write down the dialogue right beneath it. So Mamta to Anil. So she's asking this to Anil. Will you look for work again today? Anil then didn't answer directly. He first picks up a face mask from the floor, holds it up to Mamta and give, gives her a look. Now, this action, particular action shows that uh, coronavirus is there, okay? And it's uh, the story here that we are reading sets in uh, 2021. But our story, the story we, are, we have written should uh, be in 2041, right? Remember that. And then Vishal, when can we go home? Mamta, this is home, Vishal, I'm in Rajasthan. So you see, when there is a dialogue, you use that uh, format where, and then uh, you have to show rather than explain, okay? Now, look at these, how the scene is laid out, how the scene is uh, presented. So it first starts with the scene number. Scene number is very important, dear students. Okay, scene number one should be on top of it every scene then it says whether it's interior or exterior okay you know interior inside exterior outside then time of day morning evening exact location all right if it's happening somewhere 
in your home than my home or like Tenzin's home. We don't write my in the story. Okay, so Tenzin's home. Then uh, there's description of action. Now you have to show action instead of explaining it. Remember that. Then sound effect, SFX are known as sound effect. You can add them if there are, you think that these are essential, these are necessary and important. And then some talking or dialogues or conversation between the characters if something takes place. So the example is same here. First we write scene number, then interior, exterior, comma, time of the day, comma the exact location right then what happens the action we have to show the action then you can add sfx and then the dialogues that take place so just like that you don't have to draw anything in between once the first scene is over write down scene two then same thing goes exterior interior then time of the day and exact location and then whatever happens there like raj wanders around the settlement and chetu so it's showing that he's going around some children are playing some men are playing card so you can see everything right it's not like you are just getting information you're also able to pictureize them then scene number three right so there he met someone he had a conversation therefore we use dialogue and here right person's name in full capital letters Okay, the person who's going to speak, the character names are written in full capital letters and then their dialogues are just written below it. Then scene number five, okay, as it goes, exterior, morning, montage. So what is montage? Montage simply means when small scenes are joined together to make a big scene, we call that montage. So if you have like smaller scenes, right, which doesn't have much value, but when all of these scenes come together, it has some meaning we call that montage you can write that down if your story has some smaller scenes which can make a big scene then if you look at scene six it is a very small short scene right it says raj on the bike closes his eyes the wind blowing his hair that's it nothing else happens here and you can also make sentences like this scenes like this sorry so scene as i said means something actions happening in one place at one time remember that so he was on that bike all right at tea garden and that is when he closes his eyes and something else happened so when something else happened he moved into a different place and therefore it is a flashback and we need to change the scene as well now montage the uh, definition is given here you can all look at it all right you also have the work pack so it's not a difficult thing now uh it's time for you to turn your treatment so treatment means the story that you have written into a script and we have to use the format that i've just explained i've just shown okay so first of all the order should be there kindly do not write it in like uh, uh, do not write it unsystematically okay write it in order scene number should be in the first then interior exterior then time and then exact location now action sfx and dialogues they can come uh in uh like uh, in their own way it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be uh in correct order now remember the scene number etc always comes first okay and the action dialogue and sfx can come in any order as long as you use them to tell the story so it can come in any order but the first line right we have to write scene number exterior interior time of the day that should come in order remember that and make it clear if you decide to use montage flashback or dream sequence okay and please use a4 papers for your work this time there is no extra uh, already given worksheet for you and that's it thank you i hope you will uh, now be able to try or say convert your treatment into a script smoothly and easily and if it still is uh, a difficult thing then feel free to leave a message in our group chat okay diff project work group chat and yeah good luck everyone once you're done with your work you can click picture and share it to me to my personal account or in the group and then uh, i'll help uh, as much as i can okay that's it thank you everyone